I'm Robert Hurt. Thank you for tuning in to our monthly video report for the month of April. As springtime unfolded across the 5th District in April, we began the month traveling Madison County to Albemarle County to Charlotte County to Campbell County to Danville, meeting with nearly 300 state and local elected officials who joined me in representing the two cities, 21 counties, and 39 towns that make up Virginia's 5th District. It is an honor to work alongside these local leaders in serving the fine people we represent. We know that Thomas Jefferson believed that government works best when it is closest to the people, and we are fortunate to be represented by dedicated public servants at the state and local level. I appreciated the opportunity to listen to our local leaders about the challenges we face and to look for ways we can work together to meet those challenges. Perhaps one of the biggest things on the minds of the people I represent during the month of April was the tax filing deadline. Not only is tax day a burdensome annual reminder of just how complex and outdated our current tax code is, but also it is a weary reminder of just how inept the Internal Revenue Service has been in recent memory. Families and small businesses spend billions of hours each year dealing with one of the worst examples of bureaucratic red tape, and then have to hand over their hard-earned dollars to a federal government agency that continues to conduct itself in such a manner that is not worthy of the American taxpayer. That is why four of the bills we voted on at the Capitol this month relate to ensuring strengthened accountability within the agency. These timely pieces of legislation are common sense steps toward bringing relief and peace of mind to the American taxpayer. In addition to our work related to the IRS, we also continued our focus on economic growth this month by passing a bill I co-authored, the Helping Angels Lead Our Startups Act, or HALOS Act for short. If enacted, this important piece of legislation would ensure our small businesses are not hindered by unnecessary and bureaucratic red tape. While the JOBS Act, which was made law in 2012, was a bipartisan victory for small startup companies that need capital, rules implemented by the Securities and Exchange Commission threatened to set back the progress made in encouraging this vital new investment. The HALOS Act would cut through this red tape and give small businesses, our most dynamic job creators, the opportunity to succeed. As we conclude, it is worth noting that April 13th marked the 273rd anniversary of Thomas Jefferson's birth in Albemarle County. Jefferson was not only our third president, but he was also the author of the Declaration of Independence and the Virginia Statute for Religious Freedom, and he was the founder of the University of Virginia. In so many profound ways, he shaped our political philosophy and left his fingerprint on nearly every foundational element of our government. He promoted religious freedom and believed in robust public education, understanding that it would be fundamental to the success of our new nation. Please remember that if you wish to visit the Jefferson Memorial, a place devoted to Thomas Jefferson's life's work and the other important monuments here in our nation's capital, please contact us so we may assist you in your planning. We are always glad to see folks from home. Also, if we may ever be of service to you in any other way, be sure to contact one of our district offices or our Washington office. You can always be reached at our website at hurt.house.gov, where you can also sign up for regular legislative updates. And don't forget to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Once again, thank you for tuning in to our April monthly video report.